What do you think the most important pivot companies like yours need to be doing now to stay relevant with women in, say, two years? Mm -hmm. Well, um, it's so funny because I, I, um, I just briefed an agency recently, um, and we described the target audience as um, uh, Gen Xers who think they're millennial as shit. Um, <laughs> with, uh, with with a with a that's with that skewed um, that was you know dual gender but it's skewed female and we had this big conversation uh, in the briefing about why we talked about it that way and um, and I just said like if it, the minute we say that we're targeting moms the creativity level um, drops by you know seventy percent. And you know, and suddenly, you know, we're talking about uh, the granny panties and the khaki pants, and there's a woman in the kitchen. And so I think that you know, for us, the opportunity really is is to kind of bust through the stereotypes of the way that we're portraying women um, in our marketing, and also imagining them in our minds because. Um, I'm not a mother, but I would assume that for all the mothers in the room, the minute you become a mother, it doesn't mean you stop being a woman, it doesn't mean you stop being a person, it doesn't mean you stop being a human being. And I think that um, you know, our limited imaginations are serving up a, a lot of very narrow cast stereotypes around that.